Does Jamal Adams really want to be a cowboy? What's going on YouTube? It's your man, Boys for Life, coming at you with another video. Got my sock, my Dak shirt on. But there are reports out there that Jamal Adams prefers the Cowboys over the New York Jets. But he's the only one on board with this idea. Um, the Cowboys and the Jets haven't talked since talks last year. They didn't even talk during draft week at all. The, the three draft days that were there, they didn't even talk. Um, and Jamal Adams is seeking about 15 to 17 million. So if we trade for him and we sign him, he's looking to be one of the highest paid. Do the Cowboys got that kind of money? Yeah, if you don't pay Dak. But with what we have, I'm okay with Clinton Dix right now. I'm not saying next year, you know, don't draft one because we do need one. Clinton Dix is a, not a long-term fix. He's a band-aid over a problem. But getting Jamal Adams, now let's look at this. Jamal Adams is a, is a Pro Bowl player. He's one of the best safeties in the league. And what are the Jets looking for? The Jets are looking for a first round and a third round pick. Now if I'm the Cowboys, if I'm the Cowboys, would I put up that kind of draft stock? It depends. Where am I? Sorry, got a, a phone call. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, where would what if I'm the Cowboys? To your first and a third round pick, it all depends on where I'm drafting to begin with. If I'm drafting, if, if I'm winning the division, you know, if I'm in. If I'm going to the playoffs, that means I'm in the back half of the first round. I mean, you can get a, a, a very, very good safety in the first round. I mean, because, you know, safeties, you know, if we look at if we look at this draft, the first safety didn't come off the board until the Giants um, in the second round. So could we get a Pro Bowl type of talent in the first round at safety at cheap? We can. But we're not going to get someone like Jamal Adams. Now he he's looking for about fifteen to seventeen million in contract ex when when this contract when his contract's up this year. He's looking to be extended fifteen to seventeen million. Do we got that kind of money? No. I mean we do if we don't sign Dak. Um, but I mean we did sign Andy Dalton, right? But either way, I'd rather just draft someone that's the top of their class and with the coaches that we got right now i'm good i'm good do i want jamal adams do i love jamal adams? yes i would at the right price but i'd love anybody that would want to be a cowboy that is of that kind of status at the right price so jamal adams like i said before was never an option and is never an option because he wants too much money 15 to 17 million at the safety spot and you would have to give up a first round and a third round? No. I'm good. I'll work with haha -ha, Clinton Dix, Xavier Woods, because you know what? The talent that we have, a lot of people are saying that our secondary was very problematic. It's what's holding us back. But if we've learned anything over the past this this offseason since we've gotten these new coaching staffs, this new coaching staff these new coaches, that it wasn't the players. That it was the coaches themselves. George Iuka. Remember him? Remember how we picked him up? You know, ex bangle Chris Richard basically wanted us to be transparent with our defense. He basically wanted guys, the other team, to know what the fuck we were running. Really? He didn't have no coverage to where he was hiding anything. 
None whatsoever. So we really don't know what these guys can actually do. I mean, Jordan Lewis can play. Cheeto, to me, being overcoached. There are times where it's like, yeah, you got it. And there's times where it's like, what the hell are you doing? Xavier Woods, knocked the block off of you. And he got hands. He intercepted the ball. Mike McCarthy did wonders. Did a great job with Clinton Dix back in Green Bay. He was a good safety back in Green Bay. So, do I want Jamal Adams? Who wouldn't want Jamal Adams? But at the right price. Not a first round pick. Not a, and a, not a third round pick. And definitely not at 15 to 17 million. These guys that want to be the highest paid for what? You haven't won my team a Super Bowl. You haven't won your team a Super Bowl. So why would you want to be, why would you even be granted the highest paid? Because you have individual awards? And that's what I don't get with these guys today. If you look at today's culture, it's all about helping everyone get the most out of themselves like as far as the money and the talent but what are you doing for the team what are you doing for the team not a fucking thing this is not individual sports play this is team play and in my opinion the way you get money is you win my team super bowls so if jamal adams were to come here and be one of the main focuses for us winning the Super Bowl on the defensive side. Give him everything. Give him everything. Give him that 17, 15, 17 million. But that's my opinion. And do I see that happening? No, not at all. So I'm good with what we got. Jamal Adams isn't gonna be a cowboy. That's all I got to say.